I love Red Dots, and I also love a great deal. Now, at the SHOT Show, I found a company that I had not heard of before that makes some good Red Dots by North TAC. Now, they gave me one of their Ronin P10 to test and review. It looks solid, and it has one of the features that I absolutely find a necessity, and that's motion activated on off. So essentially, it's always on. For me, that's an absolute critical because I don't have to remember to turn it off and I don't have to remember to turn it back on. Let's test it out and then torture test it and see if it survives. Check this out. I'm Drew Case. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Now, I know there's a lot of folks out there that snub their noses, you know, at some of the cheaper accessories, the off-brands, but the truth be told, the majority of folks out there are on a limited budget, and heck, we would all love the top brand quality, you know, battle sites, but simply can't justify the coin. That's why I like reviewing not just the high-end things, but also the budget ones, you know, looking for kind of the diamond in the rough, a quality at a great price. Now, if the prices are close, it's a no-brainer. I would always recommend going with a well-named, you know, tested brand. Before we test this Ronin P10 by North TAC, let's just take a quick look at the specs and tech and then get it mounted and zero it here at 50 and then we're gonna start having some fun, banging on some steel, and then we're gonna reach out at a distance, take it off, torture test it, and put it back on. Okay, it did great at 50 using my SAR ammo here. Yeah. Got some decent group using my Ruger PC tandemized. I got a review on that. Now let's bang on some steel at a distance. Okay, real quick here using this SAR ammo. Let's just see what we can do at 100 yards. <laughs> that works. Okay, when it comes to distance, like 200 yards with the 9 mil, I actually have a lot better luck with 115 grain. I'm going to try some of this gecko here, see if we can tap that a little more consistently. Okay, let's take it off. Let's give it a good torture test. Okay, I wanna give this sort of above and beyond. Right now, if I just drop it, we're at 17 feet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna toss it up about another five feet. We're gonna get up above 20 feet. That was a good drop. We hit, I'd say at least 20, 25 feet. All right. So we tossed it from up there. Let's go submerge it now. And that gives it a really good test because if you do the, the impact test first, you know, if something's gonna break free, then that's when it's gonna show it is then on the submersion test. We're gonna give this one a little longer than normal. Hey folks, if you're enjoying this review, do you follow my channel? Would you be willing to help support the channel if it costs you nothing, not a zip, zero? Hit that subscribe button. That does as much as anything, so hit that button. I just got a new webpage, Home of the Crazy Stupid Deals. You have to check it out. You will be shocked to see some of the deals that I find. You can now subscribe to be notified immediately when I find them. Cost you nothing. I did this for those of you that don't like Facebook. If you do follow Facebook, come check me out and follow me there too. 
If you ever shop on Amazon, simply go in through my links below in the description. Anything and everything you purchase helps support the channel. Going through my links and it costs you nothing. You can literally buy toilet paper and this helps support the channel. Check out my company picks, the companies I purchase most often from and find most of my crazy stupid deals on. Using these links supports the channel and keeps the reviews coming. While you're there, check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself what folks are saying about them. Bottom line, check out my webpage. Lots of good stuff there, and doing so helps support the channel. Thanks for your support. I couldn't do this without you. All right. It's been in there a while. Longer than I've, I think, put anything in the hot tub. Seems to still be going. You know, one of the reasons I do my torture test in the order that I do, dropping it potentially cracks, breaks, seals anything, then the hot tub and the submersion increases the chances of leakage or, you know, moisture getting in. And then when I go from the hot to the cold, if anything, even the smallest amount gets in going from the hot to the cold, we tend to get the condensation on the lens Let's put it in a good while, freeze this baby solid. It ought to be good and frozen. There we go, light's still on. So after the torture test, everything appears to be working. We're gonna put it back on and see if we can bang on the steel again. Okay, so we just got it mounted after doing the torture test. Just wanted to show you real quick the kill flash that it comes with. So, I'm so I'm gonna do sort of the, the post torture test using the kill flash. Okay, so it survived the torture test. Everything seems to be intact. I don't see any water or any damage to the inside. Got it mounted back on. Let's see how we do at a hundred yards. Oh, what happened to our light? The light just disappeared. Okay, the light disappeared. It's back on. Let's uh, let's keep trying here. You know, I think what happened with the light, the the directions are really kind of difficult to activate the motion sensor. It's got. I did program it so that it shuts off after an hour, and I bet that's what happened, and then I had to turn it back on and, and dial it back up. I've got to figure out how to properly adjust that so that the motion activated is on. The optics working fine. It's just the, the programming with the motion on off versus the you can program it one all the way up to 12 hour auto shut off and i just had programmed it wrong anyway hopefully i got that uh, adjusted so that it is on the motion activated anyway let's jump out to 200 here and see if it's still on out there Nice guys, that is, I would say, definitely a thumbs up, passing a pretty rigorous torture test. There you go guys, it is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you found the video helpful. Be sure to hit subscribe. Guys, that helps more than about anything that you can do. Like, comment, until next time, happy shooting, be safe. Remember, teach our young people about guns and gun safety and be a safe and responsible gun owner.